high or low. To the outside of McLaughlin. What was that? Hit your mark, bud. Hit your mark. Smoke back there from somewhere. Did the 0-2 run in the back of the 18? Yes, he ran in the back of the 18. Yep. With a left front fender. Wow. Game over. Game over. For Ryan Newman. Pressure's off. Jimmy Johnson. They're all around. Just hit your marks. But see, Rambo doesn't know that. See the right rear quarter panel flapping on the 18 car? Now you see the, see the damage right in the front of the left front tire. Overtaking the Mike McLaughlin car. Ryan Newman guesses wrong. Dave Burns. And Alan, it was really easy to see from down here in Ryan Newman's pit. And now it looks like he's got a real tire rub, Alan. The left front is flat. He's up in the wall. Ready. Hang on to it, man. I think he just kept it off the wall. But no caution. All right, bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down if you can. Bring it down. You're all clear. Bring it down. No bring caution flag. We stay under Get green. Get the lift up bar up, guys. The uh, left side's definitely down. The right side probably is. Got no brakes. Black got flag. no brakes. Just ride around on the bottom of the apron if you can, Ryan. Just hold it down. Get it under the white line. Black flag for Mike McLaughlin as well for metal hanging from his car. And that was Mike McLaughlin's wife <laughs> alongside Jimmy Johnson's Go father. Easy now. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he, he needs to control there. slow down a little bit there. It's Mike McLaughlin's wife, Katie, congratulated Jimmy's father. Less than two laps to go for Jimmy Johnson. Trying to join the ranks of NASCAR Bush Series winners. No pressure from behind. Five seconds back to, to Mike line. Skinner, the second place like car. White flag no is mistakes. out. One more lap to go. I've been waiting a long time to tell you that. One more. One more lap. Let's be smooth. Let's be smooth. Off that gas now. Off that gas. Easy. Boys don't have a damn thing to worry about. <laughs> I tell you what, this town is not safe with a ram. Uh, one more corner before we start doing all that. 25-year-old Jimmy Johnson from Sussex, Wisconsin. It is 58th NASCAR Bush Series start. We'll take the first ever checkered flag at Chicago Land Speedway. Great, great job. Great job by Jimmy and Rambo and that team. They made the right call, Benny. You're right. It paid off. Two tire stop. At lap 157, the call by crew chief Tony Liberati got him track position. He never gave up the lead from there. Ryan Newman putting the pressure on with four tires, made a mistake, ran into the back of the Mike McLaughlin car as they put a lap on it. That was it. Johnson ran to the win. Here are the results of today's Hills Brothers 300 at Chicagoland Speedway. Johnson beating Mike Skinner by 4.9 seconds. Jeff Burton gets third. Jeff Green in sixth. Kevin LePage came back from a mid-race problem for a top 10. Jamie McBerry will finish 20th after being black flag. Jimmy Spencer back to 18th. <laughs> Kevin Harvick will finish 27th. Championship leader after the broken gear on his pit stop at lap 99. And Greg Bipple, his rival for the title, finishes 39th after a lap 61 crash. He's pretty good at doing donuts, I'll tell you that. I'll give you an A-plus for that. Crowd's loving it, too. Jimmy Johnson is the third first-time winner in 2001 in the NASCAR Bush Series. 13th different driver to win this year. And he's just the 93rd driver ever to win a NASCAR Bush Series race. Matt Yoakum. Jimmy Johnson's victory, very popular with the fans and the stands, but very special for a father. Gary, can you describe your emotions seeing Jimmy finally achieve his first Bush win? Oh, man. This is the hardest thing in racing we've ever done. This, this is not easy to win one of these Bush races, and we've worked so hard, and great people, the Herzogs and Excedrin, 
this is just unbelievable. <laughs> I just wish the rest of the family could be here. I know my wife's tore the couch part by now. <laughs> you were trying to talk to him on the radio when he's doing donuts in the grass. What were you trying to tell him? Burn it up! <laughs> he likes donuts! <laughs> Well, I'll bet if mom tore the couch up with a, a little piece of that $72,000 winner's share, they can they can find the new one. Find a new couch for her. Now let's go back and take a look at what turned out to be the deciding moment of the race after the pit stop when Ryan Newman was chasing Jimmy Johnson for the lead in turn four. They came up to lap Mike McLaughlin. The 18 car, Johnson, the 92 car, gets by, moves up. Here comes Ryan Newman. He's going to try to really get him a run off this corner and hope to get alongside the 92 and he timed it just a little bit off, ran in the back of the 18. Oh. Here's another look. McLaughlin's where he's supposed to be, left side's right down yep, on the line. Absolutely, but he's right. He just, he just misjudged it that little bit. In fact, Mike had the left sides below the line. Yes, he did. So he was giving him all the room he should have. And just that little miscalculation for Ryan Newman cost him a shot at the win. Let's go to victory lane and hear from Jimmy Johnson. Here's Marty Snyder. As Jimmy Johnson unsuits, he's going to take off his Hans device. Nice to see him wearing that. Tony Liberati in the window. He's the man who made the call for the two-tire stop. And Jimmy, he's going to get a hug first. How about that from his crew chief, Tony Liberati? A great call that was. Come on out, Jimmy. Jimmy, celebrate this win. Oh, no, Tony's going to get on top of the car. They're both going to get up there together. And how appropriate after the call that Tony Liberati made that he gets up on top of the car as well. <laughs> as Gatorade flies everywhere. Let's get him down from up there. Jump on down here. First of all, tell us about that. Oh, there he is. Big hug from Dad. Tell us about that two-tire stop. We practiced it in happy hour and it worked good. We, we were a little tight when we did it, and we knew we needed to uh, free it up a little bit more. Graham did an awesome job on the pit call, and uh, boy, came out. I just can't say enough for Excedrin. I'm losing my breath here. Randy and Stan Herzog, uh, my family at home, my girlfriend Jessica Goodyear, everybody involved. This is awesome. How much mirror driving were you doing when Ryan Newman was coming up on you? You knew he was charging fast. I didn't want to look. I, I didn't look really. Um, I'd look up off the two because I knew I was strong there, and uh, I knew track position was so important, and uh, just, just driving hard. And I almost got in the back of McLaughlin. I don't know what he was doing, getting on a pit road or something. And I looked up, and I saw the left front smoking on the O2. I think he clipped him, and there I knew I just had to bring it home be smart. And tell us about that. Tell us about that call, Tony. The two-tire call. Was there any any thought of going four-tire for you? No, no. We practiced it yesterday. Everybody thought we was crazy. One of the guys from MRN said that uh, that uh, you know wanted to know if we practiced it. I wouldn't tell him. And uh, and we put them two good years on the right side and uh, told the driver, don't worry about it. It's going to go. And he went. He drove. I'm telling you, he drove his wheels off his car. Uh, these guys on this car, this Billy Hess chassis. Fisher engines, Goodyear tires. I'm going to tell you what, we're right here, and we're going to need a little bit of Excedrin migraine in the morning, boys. What a big win for these guys. They hadn't had a top 10 since Nazareth in May, but they're in victory lane today.